Religion fucked me up so bad as a kid. The concept of eternal damnation was crammed down my throat from a very, very early age. When I was either seven or eight, there was a Baptist church, Bethel Baptist church that I had went to, to the Sunday school there. And, uh, there was a bus that would come and pick up my brother and I and drive all the way over to there. It's quite far. And just for the sake of going to a, a church, I mean, since there's a number of other churches around, but... And at that Sunday school, I was molested and raped for a year. The main thing that I remember is being in this small room with this pastor preacher guy I don't know what the correct title is I could care less what the title I couldn't care less what the title is and uh, he would tell me that basically I'm a bad person and that I deserve everything that happens in this room and the my only worth is what happens in that room and that if I talk about it, that I'll burn in hell for eternity. Just the concept of eternal damnation alone was bad enough. The idea that my own conscience, if I don't give it up to God, will make me burn in hell for eternity. That my own thoughts will make me burn in hell for eternity. That my own sense of self will make me burn in hell for eternity. But, you know, topping it off with being molested and raped for a year and being told that that's all my worth is or I'll burn in hell for eternity, you know, doesn't allow for a very pleasant childhood. Those shitty messages that I was taught as a kid fucked me up for almost my whole life. I had an out-of-body experience at 12. Uh, I was very, very, very sick and I was given NyQuil, which made me hallucinate. And that's what made me start to question religion. I saw life itself as a thing that can be touched, and movement was time. This went beyond seeing just the life of every human that's ever existed and being able to just zoom in and see it all this was all life not just life on this planet but life and seeing how things were connected I saw infinity. I felt infinity. Very much a life-changing experience. Eventually I wanted to just, let's just come back to where I was. I might as well finish what I started. And suddenly it felt like I fell 20 stories into my body. Immediately almost threw up. <laughs> I didn't throw up. <laughs> but it was damn close. And there my mother is standing behind me in tears because she's so worried about me. And, uh, yeah, that, that was quite a change. And, uh, by the time I was 17, 
I had come out of the closet and I had also basically dropped religion for the most part. Still had questions and things like that, you know, up, up until, my, you know, in my 20s and such. And by the time I was in my 20s, I just didn't consider myself religious at all. I didn't necessarily apply the word uh, atheist to myself. That wasn't really until my 30s. But... And then the, the whole relationship with uh, Brad slash Fawn and then Clay came into place, who shoved forth the... Uh, 12-step bullshit, and I went right back to where I was, you know, before I was 12, and started judging myself on this bullshit, and thinking my only worth was the same type of shit that I thought before I was 12. Still based on this sick fuck pastor that I was molested and raped by for a year. And then it took me until August 13th at 8.50 p.m. 2013 when I had the real full realization that my own conscience is my own, my own thoughts are my own, and that I have the right to be myself and that I have the right to be in control of my life and to improve my life. I really have a lot to be pissed off at Abrahamic religions for. A lot. It's hard for me to not just scream at people that try to shove forth that the concept of eternal damnation is somehow a good thing. But the people that push this forth don't know any better. Somehow, they can't see how fucked up it is to teach this sort of thing to people. But maybe it's because they can't see how much it can be used to manipulate children. They just see it as something, well, it teaches them to be good people. It teaches them to be scared. And with the wrong person guiding them, it can allow them to be raped and molested and feel like they don't have the right to say anything about it. So, I have a lot to be pissed off at, at, or, at organized religion, particularly Abrahamic religions. I have a lot to be pissed off at it for. But I'm still not going to judge everyone who follows it in such a negative way. I can be creeped out by people who push it forth, especially gay people who shove it forth. But I'm not going to make some full judgment as if they are someone that I shouldn't trust just because of their beliefs. So, but yeah, I have a lot to be pissed off about. But I just try to be rational and logical, and that seems to hold up pretty good. <laughs>